Welcome back to another episode of Music Career Bestie, your go-to guide for music career success. And today we're diving into three key points in developing financial literacy as an independent musician. So let's jump right in. I'm your host, Rani Choi. This topic is so crucial for your success because as we know, stability of income can be a challenge for new musicians, old musicians, or even seasoned veteran musicians all over the industry. So let's get to the first key point, budgeting. As an independent artist and a mother of two, managing your finances effectively is super essential not only for the prolonged career of your art, your craft, but also the quality of your life that you lead and the ones that you're trying to provide for your children, especially if you're a working parent in the music industry. Which is why creating a budget is so, so important. It also allows you to allocate funds for various different projects, needs, wants, anything for your wish list. Whether it's studio time, instrument maintenance, marketing expenses, or you're saving up for your big tour, it's so crucial to track your income and expenses meticulously to maintain financial stability and to ensure that you're not overspending in any area. This for me is a really crucial part of my business and my solo brand because I am split into two very distinctive income streams when it comes to my music business. I do a lot of performance and also I do a lot of coaching. In order for me to be able to run these effectively for my clients, I am subscribed to different posting monthly subscriptions that allow me to keep this communication, keep producing and sharing the courses and the content that I create with you. And that's not including monthly subscription fees for my storefront, website, music promotional expenses. Also, uh, when I hire help for my content curation and social media management, those are different budgets that I have to allocate from the money that I earn. Otherwise, I won't be able to sustain the type of growth that I'm looking to gain from here. So knowing is half of your battle, so get to budgeting. Next up, let's talk about investing. Investing is not just for Wall Street bros. It is in fact very, very important for musicians, entrepreneurs, and especially us independent creators and artists because we don't have a consistent paycheck that we receive or salary that we receive from our, our, our work. And our work can be seasonal, it can be part-time, it can be full-time. I mean, we vary in so many different ways, even as creatives and artists and musicians in this space. So as a musician, it is super crucial to explore investment opportunities that really align with your long-term financial and your musical goals. What do I mean by that? For instance, one of my many music streams includes a digital product that I've created. And after many years of thinking about putting how to play cello courses online, it just never sat well with me, which is why I created Music for Your Bestie. I teach you guys how to become entrepreneurs and start managing your own finances and your career in the music entertainment space. And the reason why I felt like this was a better choice for me is because I'm already showing up every day. I'm already creating and releasing weekly new YouTubes. I'm already working in my own music brand. I'm doing all of these things and for me, it is very fruitful and inspiring to be able to share the type of struggles and the experiences that I've gone through and the things that I take away. So that way I can share that with you guys, hoping that will empower you on your path, on your journey in music career success for you. So whether you're saving up for a new instrument, new feature tours, releases, or even thinking about retirement and college funds for your kids because you are a parent and a working musician, investing wisely can help secure your financial future and provide you the resources that you need to support your music in the meantime. Both my husband and I lead a dual income family. He has a professional job and I have a professional job and we absolutely love what we do and we're very grateful for the opportunities that we have in our life. But we know that it's not our highly coveted jobs and positions that will grant my family and our children financial and generational freedom. It is going to be the stuff that I am currently investing with my husband during my 30s and 40s that's going to ensure this. So don't get caught up in working and grinding for paychecks. 
This is all about investing because you cannot grind and hustle your way into financial freedom, especially you start to trade all of your time for money. That is a slippery slope and we don't want to be headed that way because it really ends at the burnout road and just total failure. Third point, educate yourself. There's a reason why out of these three key points that I wanted to share with you today that I have not included saving as part of a key point or even a strategy in this. I really think educating yourself by listening to these clips or watching different videos and gathering resources that you're going to strengthen and empower yourself with the knowledge that is going to be necessary for you to combat all of the ups and downs of this path as an independent musician. Be sure to take time to educate yourself on financial aspects of your career and your music entertainment that you are trying to have. Learn about royalties, copyright laws, and different revenue streams that are available to musicians. By understanding these concepts, you'll better equip yourself to make informed, smart, educated decisions that will have long-term benefits for your success in the music industry as well as your finances. So make sure to maximize your earning potential by educating yourself and never stop evolving. There you have it, the three key factors in developing financial literacy as an independent musician. Remember, financial literacy is not just about making money in the music industry or trading all your time for money. It is really about managing effectively to support your artistic endeavors and the life you're trying to create with your music. By budgeting wisely, investing strategically, and all also consistently educating yourself about the financial aspects of the music industry, you are going to pave the way for a successful and sustainable music career. That's how I've been doing this for the past 10 years and have grown my family and have been raising two children. That's all for today's episode. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, or even send this video to your musician friends or the friends that you know are working very hard and could use some of these tips. Until next time, Music Career Bestie out. See you next week.